is here, Mr. Farquhar, and some of the party. Oh, well, we may as well get them aboard straight away, then. Filming for Carry On Abroad began in April 1972. I do want you to know how thrilled I am to be with you this trip. Please, Miss Plunkett, you're squashing my itinerary. We had to do a coach sequence that morning with everyone boarding to depart for the holiday abroad. Is this for the dusty weekend? This is the four-day trip to Ells Bells, if that's what you mean. When most of the actors were in their seats, Kenneth Connor struggled onto the bus. As he passed it, James, he asked, You wouldn't happen to have a spare bottle of bromide, would you? You see, the jogging of the coach excites my wife. It took me a long time to get all that in there. <laughs> a bit. Gerald was anxious to take advantage of what little sunshine there was and shot through all the scenes very quickly. By the end of May, we were shooting scenes of holidaymakers sunbathing on the terrace. It was all supposed to look like a Spanish hotel on the Costa del Sol, and I was playing the courier for the package tour. Yes, well, I think we should be very comfortable here. Oh, hello. <laughs> for once, the weather was not on Gerald's side, and he was shooting with the aid of a huge arc lamp to suggest the sun, while the actors were trying to cope with gale force winds. Brother Bernard! Oh, that moron! There was a scene in which I had to tell all the guests, enjoy the sunshine. What a lovely day! And then it was supposed to be a cloudburst. Sure enough, they played fire hoses onto the set to create the cloudburst, and within seconds we were all soaked to the skin. Act like the captain of the ship braving the elements, Kenny. I ran under a table parasol and sheltered their bawling ad-lib dialogue over the roaring wind and torrential downpour. We think that this is the most appalling hotel in which we have ever stayed. Oh, no, don't be like that. Everybody out! Everyone out! Abandoning hotel! 